Jungles are creepy. They're big, they're scary, they're full of weird stuff. And boy, do we have some of the weirdest in the world to show you. These are the 20 creepiest jungle discoveries ever made. Number 20. The Boiling River I'll begin with something that definitely seems fake at first, but it is actually a real thing in our world which should creep you right the heck out. This all began with an explorer named Andres Ruzo. You see, he heard of a legend about a river that was quite literally boiling and thus went to seek it out. And guess what? He found it in South America. And it's absolutely something that doesn't seem real until you literally feel the heat coming off of it. This river has been known to the native people of Peru who live in the forests for quite a while, and it's shocking that locals always know more than foreigners, just saying. If you're wondering why it's referred to as the Boiling River, that would be because the temperature of the water is a scorching 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Even the mud that is made from this water is so hot that you'd get third degree burns if you decided to touch it. This tributary of the Amazon River is four miles in length and all of it is hot and even now there's no logical reason as to why the river is this way. Some believe that the river is somehow attached to a geothermal vent which exhumes a lot of heat and thus makes it boil to such a degree. There's also a thought that the boiling water comes from somewhere else and is pooled into the river. Neither have been definitively proven though, and thus the mystery continues. Not that the locals care for the reason behind the hot water. They use it for boiling food and doing laundry, which might seem almost comedic, but when you have access to something that hot and can use it for something useful, then why wouldn't you? Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. On the left is a photo that was taken many moons ago. You know that it's from the past because it's black and white. That's just how the past was. It shows a man in the jungles of Borneo circa 1940 side by side with a peculiar but peaceful creature. Everybody called it a fake for decades, but then came the curveball. The photo on the right surfaced recently and seems to show a baby of the same sort of creature. Were people too quick to dismiss the validity of the image on the left? Is it an unknown species? And if so, it's one of the creepiest jungles discoveries ever made. As always, let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below using the hashtag Sweet Topic. Number 19. Sigiria Built in the 5th century, Sri Lanka's Sigiriya Fortress attracted the attention of British archaeologists in the 1800s. They were amazed by its Leonon rock art and beautiful frescoes, and it's not hard to see why they were attracted to such a place. It's really stunning and has a lot of history attached to it, such as who built it and why. The Sinhalese king, who reigned from 477 to 495 AD, built this palace in the shape of a monumental lion on several acres of ground at the summit, intending it to be a safeguard against his enemies. It was a bold move, bold like a lion you might say. However, the king was eventually dethroned because that lion honestly didn't do its job. Due to how the palace and the entire area wasn't being kept up with by those who made it, the place fell into a state of disrepair and disarray until eventually it was swallowed up by the nearby forest, which usually would be the end of the tale, but thankfully it's not. Rather, that's where the second phase of its life would begin. Because while the world at large may not have known about it, the locals certainly did, and they used their knowledge of the areas and the forest to reach it for various purposes which included pilgrimage. Though to be clear on something, it was hardly the easiest thing to find. They searched for it based on texts and other reports, and it wasn't until the 19th century that it was rediscovered by the world at large. And now, it's become a UNESCO World Heritage Site. That way, it can be much better preserved and the forests won't swallow it up again. There are even some who have gone so far as to label this the eighth wonder of the world, and it's not hard to see why they say that. Number 18. The Stone Head of Guatemala 
A massive stone statue would be found in the jungles of Guatemala in the 1950s, and it stunned many when it was discovered, for many reasons, I assure you. The very obvious first reason was because the stone stage was not only massive, it was carved in the likeness of a face. At first, it might not sound that odd. However, the face didn't resemble what humans of the area looked like. It had very thin lips and a very large nose, and the orientation of the face was directed to look at the sky, and it too was an odd thing about about the rock. What was tragic, though, was that shortly after the stone head was discovered, it was later destroyed. Anti-government rebels were blamed for the desecration, which goes to show you the general instability of the region both then and now. However, a picture of the head has been kept as proof of its existence, and documentaries about it have also been done, as well as daring to ask the question of who made it in the first place, as well as what the true purpose of the rock was. Guatemalan archaeologist Hector E. Mejia was interviewed viewed for the documentary and said that he certified that the monument presents no characteristics of Maya or other pre-Hispanic civilizations. It was created by an extraordinary and superior civilization with awesome knowledge of which there is no record of existence on the planet. It is a bold claim, but then again, because the stone head is now gone, there's no real way to prove whether he was right or wrong about that. So thus, all we can do is speculate on what it was, what it meant, and why it was even created in the first place. Number 17. German Base for the next entry, we have to go to the time of World War II, a time of great upheaval in the world itself due to the alliances and world powers that were building up and fighting each other. This led to the clash between the Allies and the Axis powers, a battle that would last for many years. Near the end of the Second World War, when the Allied powers, backed by the United States and Russia, now being in the war, were fully able to turn the tides, the Germans, led of course by Adolf Hitler, were in on the break of not just defeat, but losing the entirety of their dominating political party. So, to try and escape and preserve the Third Reich in their own ways, they created rat lines to help funnel many of their numbers out of Europe and get them to South America. Before I continue, I know there are many conspiracy theories about certain Nazis like Adolf Hitler escaping to South America. Those are false, but there are stories about Germans fleeing to South America that are true, which includes how many of them smuggled weaponry and riches into Argentina. Along the border with Paraguay rises the Parque Teucuar, a spot in Argentina where mysterious buildings now reside. Care to take a guess what those mysterious buildings were? Well, yes, they were secret bases that were built by the Germans and there's proof of it. The team who made the discovery found several German coins with dates between 1938 and 1944. There were also various German items found and symbols of the Third Reich etched into the walls. As one of the team would note, there was no other reason for the buildings to exist so far away from anyone other than to be secret bases for the Germans. There are some who would still question why they would go so far for this, but as with any party in power, they never wanted to give up their rule. Number 16. Amazon UFO now, I'll take you to a claim that'll truly take you out of this world, because as teased, I'm talking about a UFO. This happened in 2016, where someone was looking at Google Maps and observing the Amazon rainforest, a totally fine thing to do for the record, but when they did, they swore that they had found a UFO and made sure to outline where it was on the picture. The astonishing object, which does not appear to blend in with its surroundings, allegedly lies in the Brazilian state of Rondonha located in the northwestern part of the country. You can very easily see why the person thinks it's a UFO. After all, the classic depiction of a UFO is a saucer-like craft with certain windows going along the outer rim, and this would fit that mold rather well. Plus, as noted, the object really doesn't fit with the rest of the area, which raises even more questions about what it is and what it is not. Could it be a UFO? Well, this was from 2016, and you would think that if it was a UFO, we'd have all heard more about it by now. But then again, it could have been gone by the time that they got there, you know. Number 15. Pre-Amazonian Ditches 
We'll stay in the Amazon for a bit because there are plenty of mysteries that are still being solved in that rainforest, not the least of which is that a set of ditches would be found and reported to be made by the people who lived in that area before the Amazon rainforest was even fully formed, which would make them truly very old. To be clear, while they are being called ditch-like, there's no reason to think that they were solely for that purpose. They may have been used for defense, drainage, or perhaps ceremonial or religious reasons, and nobody on has any idea. But the thing that excited many scientists and researchers was that when it was found, it proved that the ancient people were not only capable, but willing to alter the landscape around them in a meaningful and planned way, which obviously took a lot of effort. It also refutes certain claims that the ancient people who lived in the Amazon were too keen about damaging the land. People had been affecting the global climate system through land use for not just the past two to three hundred years, but actually for thousands of years. Number 14. Tribes of the Amazon are we really surprised that there are multiple entries concerning the Amazon rainforest? You really shouldn't be. I mean, after all, it's a massive jungle where it's really easy to hide things, or in this case, to hide people. Because there are still tribes who call the Amazon home, even in the wake of modern times and advancements. This is both good because it means that we haven't destroyed all of its history and people as of yet, but it's bad because these people are seen as outdated in our world and thus aren't given the rights that they deserve. The case in point, there are multiple nations that contain the Amazon rainforest, as you may recall, and as a result, many of them have had to secure rights to the land itself. If the tribe's people are on their land, despite the fact that they've lived there for countless years, they're considered trespassers and are thus dealt with by the various governments. It's not right to be blunt about it, because they were literally there first. What's more, many of these nations are more focused on cutting down trees to make things with them versus actually preserving the wondrous jungle that they have on hand within their borders. Number 13. King Tyrant Leech now I'm going to warn you this one is really freaking gross. Not just because it involves a leech, which is easily one of the most evil animals of the world, but because of what the leech does. As you all hopefully know, leeches in our world have gone and attached themselves to all sorts of creatures to try and drain their blood and such from them. Yes, they've been considered medicinal in the right doses, but come on, do you really want a leech hanging on to you? I don't think so. In 2010, a new leech in Peru's jungles would be discovered. The reason it makes this list is because it has the very unique feature of burrowing its way into your nose. Yep, you heard me. It's a leech that'll go into your nose and stay there until it wants to leave. The terrifying things about this, though, is that it's not just partial to doing this to humans. There's actually pictures of some of them being pulled from a dog's nose as well. The first one, though, was found via a young girl who was known to go swimming in lakes where the leech apparently exists, and when doctors pulled it out of her, they were stunned. It was unlike any other leech they had previously found or described, and it had a single jaw with very large teeth. Large teeth that apparently prefer the inside of your nose. Equally as bad, after some further studies, it's believed that this trait isn't new and that it was descended from leech and ancestors from millions of years ago. So we have a generational line of leeches that love nothing more than to get into people's noses and live there as they siphon you off. I'm just going to move on now. Number 12. Stone Spheres of Costa Rica. Can I talk about nice big rocks? Yeah, I'm really into this stone kind of mood, you know? Well, if you go to the Costa Rican jungle, you're going to find massive stone spheres that the locals have known about for a while, and yet they're still a mystery to everyone who views them. These are more than just stone spheres. These are stone spheres that were carved and shaped by hand. Even more than that, they're a variant in size. Some of them were only a few inches wide, while others are over six feet in length, and 
those ones could weigh up to 16 tons. There's been a lot of study done on these stones, mainly in terms of trying to find their true origin, though there's no definitive way of knowing who made them, as they're obviously not around anymore to take credit for their work. Many feel that these were actually carved around 1000 AD, which is about 500 years before the Spanish conquistadors came and made their claim to the area. Some even believe that it goes closer to 600 AD, thus putting the speculation out there that it was a civilization beyond what's known. Now, the obvious question comes, why even make these things? Why were they scattered all over the country? And how did they get these massive stones to such a nearly perfect spherical shape? It's impossible to know some of the answers to those questions, but what we can say is that an ancient civilization worked out how to make many marvels in the world, so making a bunch of rounded stone spheres, it may be odd, but it's not impossible, not by a long shot. Number 11. The Mayan Remains while not creepy, it's an important thing to note as it's vital to learning the true history of the world. The Mayan Empire was one of the dominant forces in all of the world over a thousand years ago. While the exact origins of the people are still a mystery to this day, it's well known that they came down to the southern parts of North America like Mexico and Central America and did their best to grow into a mighty nation. They did succeed, but then all of a sudden they were gone. The people vanished and they left their whole empire that they had built up to just just linger. Fast forward to now, and the various jungles of Central and South America have overtaken much of it, the empire. Thus, people are still looking for it, and when a key find is discovered, it's a celebration all around. All because they want to know more about this people and what happened to them. Number 10. The Walking Palm Tree Here's another one that may seem fake at first, but apparently it is very real. The walking palm tree is a palm native to rainforests in tropical Central and South America. Yes, it's a tree that apparently walks, so feel free to make various Lord of the Rings references. However, the difference between those trees and the walking palm tree is not just the matter of a face on its trunk, it's about how they move. This tree apparently has the ability to grow roots in the direction that it wants to move, and then it'll let those roots straight up move it to that spot. Such as, if it's in a shady part of the forest and it senses a spot with sunlight, it'll actually get its roots to take it there. As long as there isn't any army of these ready to attack us, we should be fine with it, for now. Number 9. Brazilian Aliens we're going back to tales of UFOs, because why stop now when the last one was so intriguing? The picture that you're seeing is claimed to have been taken by two British tourists who were visiting a region of the Amazon, and if you look at the zoomed out picture, you're going to see why things are so blurry. They were taking pictures of the children, but then the background caught their eye eventually. So do I believe that this picture and now proclaim that it's aliens, that they're really out there? Well, no, I don't. In fact, the person who put out this photo is a well-known advocate for aliens being real and is the kind of guy who would fake something. The truth may be out there, but it certainly doesn't exist in this picture. Number 8. Lost City of Giants Something that many people have long believed about the Amazon was that there was a tribe of giants that lived within it that once made a city that fit them perfectly. Ironically, there was a city found in Ecuador that did fit that bill in certain ways. It had giant structures and creations that at first seemed like they were made by giants. Some even claimed to have found the giant tools that were used by them. However, this would be debunked as there were not skeletal remains of giants nor proof that the creations were anything more than the works of the local people. Remember, plenty of nations and empires have made big things that dwarf the human races, but doing them in the jungle is not all that hard to believe at all. Number 7. Congo's Carbon Bomb now we're going to talk about a bomb, specifically a carbon bomb that you'll find in Africa within the Congo. This carbon sink is about 56,000 square miles in size, which is a whole lot in case you didn't know. And there's more carbon beneath the ground in this section of swampland and jungle in the Congo than there is natural carbon above it. And round numbers, we'll say there's about 30 billion tons of the stuff beneath the ground in the Congo jungle. And if it were to go boom, well, it would be a 
memorable event, really memorable in fact. If you're wondering how any of this is possible, you need to look at the terrain. It's known as peatland, which is famous for stopping decomposition part of the way through and absorbing the carbon that's left over. Add to that the 11,000 years that the peatland has been around, and that adds up to about 30 billion tons of carbon. Number 6. The Amazon Stonehenge Back to the Amazon we go. Don't you feel happy about that? You're not happy about that? Eh, well, just deal with it. Anyways, we're here because we need to talk about the place known as the Amazon Stonehenge. The 127 blocks, some as high as 9 feet tall, are spaced at regular intervals around the hill that they sit upon. Many believe that these are actually the remains of an old observatory that was made long ago, which would explain why it would be on a hill like this. While it's hard to know when exactly this Stonehenge was built, many are speculating that it was 2,000 or more years ago, which predates many things in the region of Brazil that it's in. Number 5. The Amazonian Giant Centipede Now, all truth be told, we hate bugs and arachnids and any creatures that even kind of sort of look like them in any way, shape, or form. So the fact that there's a species known as the Amazonian giant centipede, and it is indeed the largest one in the world, is not very cool at all. The giant Amazon centipede will hunt anything from other arthropods to amphibians, mammals, and reptiles, which also includes snakes that are equal to their size or even larger. That's scary because it also means it's a very aggressive individual and that it's not afraid to tangle with things that it perceives to be a meal. Now, now, I hate the fact that this thing is a foot long, if not more at times, so yeah, I'm not going to be going to the Amazon, and I don't have to deal with this thing. Number 4. Lost City of the Monkey God you nickname aside, this was another long legend of the jungles of South America, a place where an ancient civilization lived and thrived for quite some time. The irony here, though, is that the place has been found in Honduras, and people have been researching it ever since. While I can't talk much about the actual city, they were happy to note that the area surrounding it was one that was very pristine and clearly not touched by humans in quite a long time. For proof of this, they revealed that they found some new species of animals that were there, as well as rediscovering species of animals that had previously been reported as being extinct. So, the city clearly has things to offer. Number 3. Rafflesia Rafflesia is a sect of plants that grow in Southeast Asia. They're famous for multiple reasons, not the least of which is that one of the species has the largest flowers in the entire world. Oh, and they're also a parasitic plant that loves to latch onto its host and grow right on top of them. Such fun! It's true though, they do grow via vines that you won't see because they're in the host, and thus you'll only see the five-petal flower on the host that's growing through. Are you fine if I just move along from this? Because there's something about it that kind of freaks me out. Number 2. Goliath Bird Eater I wonder what this spider is known for. Clearly, it's something directly attached to its name. Oh no, that would be far too easy now, wouldn't it? Yes, I'm talking about this arachnid that's so large that it's perfectly capable of eating birds. It's one of the biggest spiders in all of the world, and it is the biggest in terms of both body mass and pure body length. That's not even counting the legs. Going back to the leading point, yes, they do eat birds. It's freaky, and I want to move on. But I do want to note that if we as people move on from these spiders, they're going to be around just waiting for us to remember them. But why? Because apparently the females of the species are actually able to live for about 30 years. And that's just about 30 years too many. Number 1. Humpback Whale now, I thought I'd throw you a curveball to end the list, but again, this is a true story. A humpback whale would be found in Brazil within the mouth of the Amazon River, and nobody knows how or why it got there. The whale was found approximately 15 meters from the shore of a beach along a bay in Brazil, and also it was a big whale. Are any of them ever truly small, though? And that further adds to the mystery of how it got so far inland. The common belief is that the whale died and the tide somehow carried it really far in. That would be one very powerful and enduring tide, though, given how far from the shore that it actually was. 
That's all from the depths of the jungle and how it's been known to have some creepy things inside. Were you shocked by how many of these things were found in the jungles of the world? And which of these discoveries did you find most shocking of all? Are there any others that should be on this list? As always, be sure to let me know all about it in the comment section down below. Check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.